MIX, or Mobile Information and Communication Systems, is a Swiss-wide NCCR research platform bringing together universities and technical institutions to better understand wireless communication networks. MIX research has made major advancements in environmental monitoring, public health and communications. We want to understand the connection between climate change, changes to permafrost and rockfall from high alpine rock walls. To really understand this better, we need sensors and networks that are able to deliver high-quality, dense data from very difficult environmental conditions. The urban air pollution obviously is a problem that is uh, affecting the quality of life of millions of people around the world. Now consider if we can put large numbers of sensors on vehicles that are moving around in the city and producing a very precise real-time map of what's going on. The Inerti is developing augmented reality technologies and one of our goals is to link the digital worlds with the traditional media. Over a 10-year period, researchers at top Swiss institutions have made major breakthroughs in the field of wireless communications. The NCCR mix evolved from some fundamental questions about the capacity of peer-to-peer -peer mobile systems and uh, then evolved to more application-oriented projects that would apply these fundamental understandings to practical problems. Researchers work together to face difficult challenges in expanding the possibilities of wireless networks. Before, communication systems depended on relay stations to transmit information. But MIX specialists elaborated robust theoretical systems that allow information to be passed between nodes, eliminating the need for relay stations. In theory, ad hoc networks are more robust because they do not depend on a central station. We studied how properties as fundamental as connectivity and capacity scale as the number of nodes uh, becomes extremely large. To solve problems related to large wireless networks, mixed scientists found that if the network was broken down into smaller groups and then the information was passed on collectively, the signals could be reliably transmitted. Many of the current mixed wireless applications are possible thanks to these theoretical breakthroughs. These applications bring together information theorists, specialists in signal processing, geoscientists and environmental fluid mechanics experts. Sensorscope combines wireless technology with monitoring of temperature, humidity and other environmental factors. The first time we tried this wireless sensor technology was here at EPFL campus, where we installed 100 weather stations like this one. And the idea was to get a real-time picture of the uh, campus micrometeorology. After the success of Sensorscope on the EPFL campus, the next challenge was to take the system to the mountains to monitor the environment. We've installed 26 Sensorscope stations in the Valferi watershed in the Swiss Alps. This is in the context of the MIX program in collaboration with colleagues from Computer Science and Communication Systems. We are having now, for the first time, unprecedented spatial measurements of hydrologic and meteorological variables. Environmental data is then sent back to the EPFL campus to be analyzed. These fine-grained measurements that we have in the field now allow us to improve our existing hydrologic models, which will be used ultimately to make forecasts and to understand the impacts of climate change in the Alps in real time. At the University of Zurich and ETHZ, scientists are using wireless nodes to better understand how climate change influences mountain morphology in the harsh alpine environment prone to rockfalls and extreme climatic conditions. Within MIX, we installed many sensors that included temperature sensors, crack meters and automatic cameras. These spatially distributed and very dense measurements helped us to get insight that we didn't think possible only a few years ago. We've mounted our sensor networks on the peaks of the Swiss Alps on the Matterhorn and Jungfeuer. They've been operating for multiple years now, turning out many millions of data points. And the first research results derived look very promising.
The Mix Spin Fund translates these applications into commercially successful ventures by giving scientists the skills to start a successful company. From the NCHCR Spin Fund, a number of companies grew on the ecosystem of very large quantities of data acquired by distributed systems. It could be environmental data, it could be images or video. The companies then make sense out of the data to create value for consumers or other companies. OpenSense combines sensor technology with the mobility of public transportation to monitor city pollution levels. In OpenSense, we are using SensorScope technology to monitor the air quality in the city of Lausanne. Traditionally, this is done with very few stations, so that you can, for example, not say what's the difference from one street to the other. By putting a number of stations on buses and letting them drive around, this is if we would have a very large number of stations, and this gives us a very precise picture in real time of what is going on. This information will allow citizens and policymakers to assess urban pollution's impact on health and the environment. Thanks to novel approaches to communication theory, CANDU reduces energy consumption in servers and other devices. CANDU Bus is a licensing company. We license uh, technology for serial links that reduce the energy consumption of electronic devices while making them faster. We do this by using communication theory in a way that has never been used before, and we've raised $10 million beginning of this year. Advances in data management and signal processing also help consumers make better sense of the world of information around them through images and video. Vidanotti uses mixed technology to develop new augmented reality applications for smartphones. The user can just point their phone to an article and their article will be recognized and augmented, for example, with videos. Other mixed spin fund startups, like Cropola, specialize in automatic online photo cropping. Cropola is an online application that automatically and intelligently crops photographs. And Pix4D provides fully automated software solutions to combine aerial images to produce meaningful 2D and 3D representations. Thanks to the Mix platform, researchers will be able to solve problems relating to big data management in the near future. Among large quantities of data of importance to humanity is certainly environmental data relevant to global pollution, global warming and questions of environmental safety. This data not only needs to be collected, it needs to be put at the disposal of the general public and the scientists in order to have transparency about these key issues. Ten years of mixed research and collaboration has resulted in scientific breakthroughs and innovative commercial applications. Its research has truly opened new frontiers in communication systems and its results will continue to improve public health, increase our understanding of environmental changes and nourish communication applications for years to come. <laughs>